This is the lake and the place where the creator told us to plant that seed. And from this lake, the ducks and the birds and all, all the people spread that rice all over the Great Lakes. And it's part of our original creation story. So I go out on a water and I knock rice in a canoe with these two cedar sticks. And somebody pushes the boat along and we just keep pushing it in until we get like behind me here. All kernels and, and tops of it. And that's where the processing first starts. But we do this to dry it and get it prepared for the parching. We take it over to the fire. Now what the fire does, it, it dries the chaff off and, and it dehydrates the kernel inside of it. It's a, a natural dehydration process by putting it in the smoke, the fire, and then for the parching, we take it and put it over for the grinding or the dancing or the chaffs. Now I get to the point where, where we're grinding it down, we dance it, we get all the chaff off and we put it in here. And then we wait for the wind and we call this winnowing, I guess in English, but this is what we do, we throw the rice up and the wind blows all the dirt and the chaff off and then the rice stays down here. And then we get the kernels and then we fan uh, the dust and dirt off that and have the complete product at the end of it. But once it's there and it's into that hard dehydrated uh, form, it's good for at least up to five years you can store it and keep it and it'll be good edible.